We're gonna pin it, boys. 22. 30. <laughs> 36. What is up loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. So hopefully you've been enjoying the vlogs. We've been doing a lot more vlogs than we've ever done. Oh, here comes Nasty Red. Here comes Nasty Red. Get a, get a roller of Nasty Red. Yeah, look at this, look at this. Here we go. Yeah. In the vlog, that's right. So what's up? So, Team LMP everywhere. Just kidding. That's just that. Anyway, so <clears throat> we are on our way to grab some stuff for the first gen build because our boy Devin got the first gen running with the compound turbo kit on and he said it sounds good he's like it's pushing a lot of air he obviously he hasn't driven it yet but he's like it just sounds good turbos whistling just sitting there idling like he's like it sounds really good so super super freaking pumped about that and thank you so much Devin for just doing the freaking work on the stuff because I was just like dude I need somebody that can just I can drop the truck off they're gonna do it they like doing it they're not gonna do just like, oh, I guess I could do it. Like, they wanna do it and take on the job and get it done, even though, you know, obviously I'm paying him. It's, he's, not, he's, he's not just doing it for free, but he likes to do it. That's the difference. He likes doing it, not like, I'll put up with it. And he's like, dude, I got it running. It sounds good. So he's gonna go from there. He's gonna do the injectors, governor spring, valve springs, head studs, rocker pedestals, all that stuff. He's gonna get that all knocked out. And I might be missing some stuff, but he's gonna get it all knocked out, and that truck's gonna be running really, really good so super excited about that but today we got to go grab some stuff so we can work on that truck a little bit more we're not going to be working on that truck today but we do have to go grab some oil we got to get some new oil in there so we're not running a bunch of old oil non-stop through those turbos so we're going to get a full oil change before we start putting miles on the truck new oil filter new transmission fluid because it's been sitting a little while and I don't know when it's been done last not to mention I'm pretty sure it drained it all out of the truck on accident and then we're going to get some coolant and then what else? What are we, am I missing stuff? We need to get. I think I've listed oil filter, right? I don't know. Whatever. We gotta get some stuff for that first gen to get it running. And we also have to buy a piece of four-inch aluminum piping that's about a foot long. He said because he's got to kind of fabricate some stuff. And uh, yeah, but it's it's been going good apparently. So he's pretty excited. I'm pretty pumped. And hopefully we can see this thing running in just a handful of videos here. A couple of videos here. You guys are gonna see this thing fired up, running, and should sound pretty freaking good. I'm pretty excited about it. And he said by the time we see him again after tomorrow, he said by the time we see him back, he's like, this thing should be fully done and pretty much straight ready, except for obviously transmission hasn't been built. But other than that, it's gonna be good to go. So I'm pretty excited. Well, let's get on down the road here and uh, start picking up some stuff for this first show to get finished. So we are on the road with the old white 7.3, the truck that we're gonna kind of make our own project, even though I've told myself forever I would never build this truck. It's gonna sound a little funky because the exhaust is right underneath the cab falling off, but what we're doing testing now is drivability. Does it drive straight? And right now, no hand on the wheel, I kid you not, it's driving straight. And does the cruise still work? So sister drove it last so does the cruise work let's find out set it's cruising we're cruising 50 okay I'm gonna get the door closed all the way here there we go now no more wind noise that makes a big difference I mean it drives it drives really good. I'm like really surprised right now. I mean, you can hear the bed creaking because it's wanting to fall off anytime now, but I mean, going 55, we went almost 60 there and it was, it was good. Let's get a, let's do like a UE right here and see how much turn we can get out of the wheel, just so you guys can see 
it doesn't make any weird sounds or noises or that crap, but I'm gonna make sure traffic's all clear. Right now it looks like a mess, but that's a full lock right there. We can almost, that's funny, this is the only truck that I can almost do a full UE in. Let's give her some, let's give her the beans real quick. RPM just now, you know, 50, 55, 60, let's get her going 65, 65, and 70, and look at my wheel, this is a good thing to look, look at the wheel, it's going 70, that's going 70 right there. The wheel was perfectly straight. Neighbor. One of his employees, never mind. That guy's not such a friendly dude. <laughs> Didn't want to wave. Nice to see you. Don't care. Got it. Sorry, my bad. My bad. So anyways, truck drive's good. And that is the most important part to this truck. Does it drive good? And it does. It drives great. So I'm actually really, really happy about that because it drives straight. Honestly, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna get it aligned, but the freaking wheel is like going straight down the road. Tires were pulling one way or the other. I mean, guys, we might have like a real buildable still truck here for two grand. Sorry, Dad. That's a really good deal. But I mean, he did, keep in mind, he did he already get paid for it. He was gonna dump it off for two grand to anybody who gave it to him, anyways. But I was like, no, I'll give you two grand. So. We'll get that worked out here pretty soon, whether he wants parts or if he wants actual um, cash, it's up to him. But yeah, boys, running and driving. Running and driving. Actually really happy about that. Let's give him one last look around. You can stay in the truck where it's nice and toasty. And the heat works, and the AC works. Great, so let me take the camera here. Heat works, AC works, dash, I got it clipped back on. Um, the edge monitor. Still good. Like I said, guys, that bed's gonna be gone, which is the most eyesore of the whole thing. The rockers are rusted. Doors are pretty good, though. Cab corner's a little bit rusted. But I mean, you can get a full turn out of these wheels. And in terms of up or down, the actual straightness of the tire, up or down, isn't that bad. The grill itself, let me get the lighting turned on so you guys can see it all lit up. I'm pretty sure it all works still. Here, I gotta turn them on. This setting. I got it, there we go. So, there you can see the mirrors light up. Cab light, well, center cab light's always been burnt out since I remember as a kid, I don't know why, but. But keep in mind, new front bumper. We're gonna keep the headlights in the grill. 20 by 12s, a mud tire. And actually, I was gonna do a front three inch level, but what I'm actually probably gonna do is just keep it factory and do a 20 by 12 and 33 by 1250 on that. And I think that actually, believe it or not, will still fit with very, very, very slight modification. I did a lot of research on custom offsets website and stuff, just looking at like examples of trucks that were um, running 33 by 1250s and 20 by 12s on a stock right height of this truck, and there's actually a lot more than I thought. But yeah, so imagine a bed deleted, flat bed, off-road front bumper, 20 by 12s, it'll look good. It'll look good. And after it's all said and done, honestly, I'm probably gonna put the truck up for sale. So just keep that in mind. It's, I mean, it's dirty right now. It's gonna get, you know, all washed down, cleaned up. We're gonna take the bed off, pressure wash the frame, flat deck it, probably chassis save at the rear end. Um, the hood alignment is not perfect. Like I said, it's really even on this side and not quite perfect on this side, but it is usable. It does come up and down with the latch and everything works as it should. It just doesn't look perfect, but 
that's pretty much it for uh, for this video. Dang. But anyways, guys, so I ordered her some super wide tires. Anthem helped hook me up with to get her some wheels, and then a lift kit on the way. So we were kind of talking about, oh, we're gonna do her truck super big, and she was under the impression that she was gonna mostly have to pay for all of it. So she's not like expecting any handouts here. But um, I went ahead and I surprised her, and I ordered everything ahead of time. Um, but she's still gonna help out when she sells her wheels. She's gonna, you know, help out with covering some of the cost of it, like half the cost of it. But so I went ahead and ordered everything in ahead of time. We're gonna get a reaction to how wide these things are. They're huge. Jeez. Hopefully that camera focused. I'm using her camera because mine's dead. They're 355, 40, or 22. I'm trying not to show my address. Actually, this isn't my address anymore. Uh -huh. It's my parents' address. My place is not any close to here, but you know. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, look at these things. Oh my gosh. These things are nuts. Not really a fan of that big gash on that one tire, though, but I mean, it's probably just the fault of UPS. But we're going to see some teams out here at work. Come on out now. So, what do you think? <laughs> They're too small. Are they wide enough? They smell good. They smell good? Yeah, the new tire smell? Mm -hmm. You like them? Yes. Freaking wide. I told him, I said Nitto must have just like, not Nitto, UPS must have, like, look at this one. Yeah. I looked them over, spun them all around. This is the only one that's got a little bit of like a rub mark, mm -hmm. which will disappear once you drive it at all anyways, but. I said that's probably from UPS dragging them over here on the freaking I hate how they do this. Concrete. Yeah, I'll just leave this on for now, but... Man, this thing's gonna look wide. And I also got some wheels and tires in just a little bit ago, too, from FedEx, so... They probably hate us. You guys will see what she has coming next in just a little bit. Oh, I know. They're big. They're huge. So we're gonna get to get into the barn real quick. Back here, I'm at Parrot's place. And I got something else to show you. There's our old friend Whitey. It's by the way, as you bed gone, 20 by 12s, 33 by 1250s. I'm actually thinking about leaving, doing it like that without no, without any leveling, without no leveling kit, without any leveling kit. Um, like I said, hood's out of alignment just a little bit. You can see there, but you know it works. So here is going to be just a little sneak peek of the Anthem wheels in the tires only in this truck. I'm not going to show you all of them here. We're going to save that for the next video, but here you go. There you can see the tires. Take your guesses. Take your guesses. And that is all I'm going to show you of the wheels. Right there. Okay, so the rest is for your imagination to go wild. Guys, I was gonna put a wrap on this video, but do not forget to enter the 2008 LMM Duramax giveaway. By the time you see this video, I believe there are 12 days left. So just keep that in mind. Do not procrastinate. Information in the description below. Every $15 you spend on LMP gear at team-lmp.myshopify.com, I'll probably have it on the screen here, gets you another automatic entry to win that beautiful 2008 LMM Duramax. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff to that truck, especially the last week is going to get, that truck's going to get a lot of stuff done. Like, it's going to look really, really good. Like, I can't express that enough. It's going to look awesome. Um, the truck's got 150,000 miles on it. it. Runs and drives awesome. That's why I've been daily driving it a lot. When I say a lot, I mean, I probably put, like, 20 miles on it a day, but anyways, the truck drives awesome. I love it, and I know for a fact you guys are gonna like it. For all you guys out there that are kind of on the fence, like, oh, I'm not really a Duramax guy, it's like, you don't need to be a Duramax to win a Duramax, you see what I'm saying? And also, you don't have to keep that truck. If, let's say, let's say you've dreamt of owning an F350, or a Ram, or, you know, whatever. You can take that truck, you can take it to a dealer or just sell it on Craigslist the next day, I don't care. The whole point is just to give it back to somebody so that they can do what they want. And when, when, when we say you can win your dream truck, it doesn't even necessarily have to be that truck. Maybe you're like, oh, I can't wait to get that truck, sell it for 25 grand and go pick up this truck. Maybe that's what you wanna do. And that's totally okay, because you're allowed to do that. It's 
once it's in your name and titles in your name you can do what you want so keep that all in mind information in the description below 12 days left do not miss out thank you guys so much for watching leave a fat thumbs up leave a comment down below subscribe if you are new join the team join the family hit that notifications bell we'll catch you in the next video peace